So we will now take uh, some examples to understand the Moore machine and the Billy machine in detail. So from today's lecture, we will just learn about the Moore machine. And in the subsequent lectures, we will learn about the Mealy machine. So what is the Moore machine? Uh, just to uh, remind you that the Moore machine is a kind of the finite state machine wherein the outputs are associated with the states. So the question is given here uh, uh, on the board that the Moore machine that takes set of all strings over uh, there is a one R missing. So over A and B such that the input uh, as the input N prints one as the output for every occurrence of A, B as substring. So to understand more in detail, what we can understand that the set of input alphabets are A and B, here what is given, and the set of output alphabet we have to define. So here it says that if A, B comes in the string provided to us, I should print the output one. So one is obviously the output. So what if the A, B does not come? So I'll say that I'll print a zero. So the set of output alphabet here will be zero and the one. So let's design a DFA first for uh, what is, is saying that if a string is ending with the AB. So if I can design the DFA for the string that ends with AB, I can also design the Moore machine that actually counts the number of occurrences of AB. So uh, just see what, what is happening here that uh, if an A comes, what is the smallest string for which I have to design the DFA? It will be AB only. So let's say the state is A and if I get small A, I move to state number B. And if I get small b, I'll move to state number c, which is, let's say, the final states in the DFA. Now, uh, let's say at state c, I get a b. Uh, I get an a. So if I get a here, I can move to state number b because it means that if I get a and then if I again get b, I will be getting an a b. So let's take an example like a b has already taken place and I get a and again I get b. So this is one occurrence and this is the second occurrence. Okay, so this is the first occurrence and this is the second occurrence. So what is happening that I was at, at state A. When A came, I moved to B state. When B came, I moved to C state. So first AB was observed. And then if I get A, I move to B state. And if I get another B, I will move to C state again. So if I'm reaching to the C state, it means that AB is observed here. So this is the uh, automata and uh, I can also design some of the states. Let's say in the starting, if B comes, so there is no need to move to an, any other state. Let's remain at A state only. Uh, with a state B, the transition with B is defined, A is not defined. So let's say I get a triple AB. So in that case, also I'm getting AB. So after getting the first A, you should remain at B only until you get a B. So I have de de designed for state A. And now what if I get a symbol B at the state C? So if I get a symbol B in the state C, I should move to A state because after this, I can again get the AB. The thing is like I got AB after which I got B. So I will have to restart the counting for AB. So that's why I'm moving to state A from state C whenever I'm getting a symbol small b. So on getting at this symbol small b, you will move to a state such that you restart the counting of A from state capital A. So now this is the DFA. How do we define the Moore machine for this? You will have to associate the symbols with states. So if I if I am a state number A, I produce an output zero, let's say. If I am at state number B, I will produce an output zero. But if I am at a state C, then I should produce the output one because one is denoting that I have received the a b okay i have once again defined what we have done here let's take more space here okay <clears throat> so if i am at the state a i did not get the a b so i will print a i'll print zero if i am at state b then also i did not get the a b so let's print zero but if i am at state number c then certainly i have got a b so let's print one Fine. Rest of the automata remains the same, except that we will not make the final state yet because there is no final state in the Moore or the Mealy machine. So this is the Moore machine for the given question. Okay. So let's say I have got AB and AB. So what will be the output? 
if I get, if I'm at state number A, it produces output zero. If I got a symbol A, I'll move to state number B. This will also produce the answer zero. If I get a B, I move to state number C and produce the answer one. If I again get A, I move to state number B and answer zero is produced. And if I am at a state number B and I get a symbol B, I'll move to state C and print the output one. So here you can see that there are two times one is observed. It means the AB came here two times or AB came here twice. So this is, we have tested with the uh, sample input that it is producing the correct output. So this is the correct mode machine for the given question. So I hope you must have understood about this. We will meet again with the more, with more examples on the mode machine. Thanks for watching.